So you would like to know how to use the fiberglass mesh method to make mosaics. Well, you're in the right place. I'm Helen Miles and I'm here to teach you all the tips and tricks you need to make mosaics. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to make a direct mesh method mosaic on mesh. I'm going to take a simple design of a fish and I'm going to lay mesh over the fish and then glue the tiles onto the mesh. The good thing about the mesh method is it means you can make your mosaic in your studio or on your kitchen table and then you can apply it to a wall outdoors or to a hard to access area. You might, for example, want to um, put the fish high up on a bathroom wall and so you wouldn't want to be making it on top of a ladder. The other good thing about it, it is the mesh method is that you'll be working directly which means you're placing the tiles face side up so you can see the front of the mosaic as you're working. And finally it's very easy to cut. So if you are making a large mosaic on mesh and you needed to install it, you would simply cut the mosaic into manageable pieces using kitchen scissors. And then you can ins install it like assembling um, a large scale jigsaw. So this is a simple mosaic project which is accessible for beginners. So let's begin. First of all, let's look at the things you will need to make a direct method mosaic on mesh using glue. Firstly, you'll need some wheeled nippers like these to cut the tiles. So these are Lepinit wheeled nippers and you can buy them at any mosaic supplier. I'm going to be using mosaic glass like this, which is why I'm using the Lepinit nippers. If I was using ceramic tiles, like these ones, I would use different nippers. They're called side biters, or you can also buy a kind of upgrade version called compound nippers. I've made another video about the essential tools you need to make mosaics, which explains about the different tools. You will also need tiles for this project, of course. I'm going to be using these um, green tiles which are manufactured in Mexico and China. And they come in um, a range of, of similar um, tones, which I really like. Um, but you could also use ceramic tiles and you could mix the ceramic and the glass uh, because they have the same thickness, so they're both four millimetres thick. So what um, the main thing is to consider when you're choosing tiles for a direct method mosaic on mesh using glue like this one, is that the tiles are the same thickness because we're going to produce a flat mosaic, the surface will be flat. Next you need fibreglass mesh, uh, this is what it looks like. It's a material that's used in the building industry and you can buy it from building suppliers in huge rolls but to start off with it's best just to buy it in a metre lengths from a mosaic supplier. It's a strong alkaline resistant material and it's suitable for outdoors. So it's a great material for a project like this one. The other thing you will need is glue. I use this tight bond premium wood glue which is available from Mosaic Workshop in London and is recommended specifically for making mosaics on mesh. Um, so the wood part of it is a little bit confusing because there's no wood involved in this project. Um, however you can also use um, a good PVA glue. Finally, you will need a board to keep your mosaic flat, some masking tape, a roll of cling film or cling wrap as it's called outside the UK, 
you need a teaspoon, a plastic one, and uh, an old jam jar lid, and a pair of angle jaw tweezers, like these ones, if you use them when you're making mosaics. So once you're ready, the first thing you do is lay your design onto your board and tape it down. I have chosen this very simple fish design and what I'm aiming to do is just mosaic the fish. And because you're working through layers, you're going to have a layer of cling film or cling wrap on top of the design and then you're having a mesh on top of the cling film you need to make sure that you've outlined your design in a good strong black or, or other dark colour so that you can see it clearly through the mesh. And this, this is a design I just had um, ready for a class and um, it shows the lines of the andamento but obviously that's not essential for this particular method it's just what I happen to have available. So I'm just going to tape this design onto my board. The next thing you do is take a bit of cling film to fully cover the design. it nice and flat and lay it over your design and again just tape it down with your masking tape so I'm stretching it to make sure there's no crinkles and bubbles on the other side And the last thing we're going to do is lay the piece of mesh over the design and the cling film and tape that down too. So now we're ready to start making the mosaic. I've put a little bit of glue in my saucer and I've already cut some squares. Um, so as I said, I'm going to be using glass and glass, both glass and ceramic, have a flat side, a smooth side, and a um, ridged side. So the ridged side is the side that goes down, because we're making a direct method mosaic, which means we can see the surface of the mosaic as we work. So the, one of the most important things you need to know when you're making a mosaic on mesh is you only want um, a little bit of glue. You only want enough glue to cover the back, oops, to cover the back of the tile, not to squidge out the sides. So you put it down where you want it and press it into place. So some people find working with glass on mesh very difficult because it um, slides around um, and that, that is certainly an issue, but the thing to think about, or the thing to bear in mind, is not to move it after you've placed it. It will stick, you just have to have confidence in the sticking process. So it will take um, maybe kind of 10 minutes or something for the glue to start working. Um, but immediately, when you first put it down, um, it still moves around a lot. But don't let that worry you, because you're going to just put it down leave it and then carry on gluing. So I either do that by holding the, the tile with the angle jaw tweezers and dipping it in the glue and then if I've got a little bit too much glue I'll just dip it on the back of the spoon and then lay it down. And then don't touch it, pick up another one, dip it, lay it down and carry on until you've finished the whole design.
So once your mosaic is complete, you leave it to dry overnight. Uh, and then once it's dry, you can take away the tape and remove the mosaic from the board. So it will come off easily. See what I'm doing is I'm peeling it away from the cling film. So you're leaving the cling film behind. And you want to make sure all the cling film is gone because obviously that will stop it grouting. And there you can see the back of the mosaic. So the lines, the, um, the intercies between the tiles are nice and clear. There's no glue between the tiles so that when you put it on your wall or wherever you're going to put it, the tile adhesive can come up between the tiles from below and then you can easily grout it from above. So this would make a lovely mosaic for a bathroom. You can make lots of different fish and make a whole um, sea scene to your bathroom wall. And the excess uh, mesh, you just cut it away with kitchen scissors. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, then please subscribe below.